Hey, look. We human. We human. Don't, no matter how bad y'all try to, don't matter how bad people try to run away from the fact that they human, it don't matter what, what, what you going through in life, how big you are in terms of social economic status, what you got going on, you got to understand something. We human. Hey, look, let me tell y'all something. Human beings come with emotions, period. Period. Human beings come with emotions. Human beings come with feelings. Everybody has their own, but this thing, everybody's emotions and feelings is not, you're not going to have the same emotions and feelings um, that everybody else has because guess what? You are your own individual. Let me tell you something. You're not wrong. Let me tell y'all something. If you dealing with a narcissistic person, if you whether that's narcissistic parents, whether that's narcissistic friends, whether that's narcissistic family, it, but nine times out of 10, narcissistic parents. I'm just keep that 100. If you dealing with narcissistic parents, let me tell you something. One day, one day, like I say, you human, you human, one day you gonna snap, period. You gonna snap because guess what? You're under constant attack. You're under, what? this is throughout your childhood and, and probably throughout your adulthood because guess what? You, you have emotions and you have feelings, but at the end of the day, guess what? Narcissistic individuals gonna neglect your feelings due to, uh, neglect your feelings and neglect your emotions for the simple fact. They don't deem, look at you as a human being. They don't look at you as a human being. They look at you as a slave. They look at you as a machine that they look at you as um um they look at you as a um a machine that's only beneficial that's going that's only beneficial to them. They don't look at you as a human. You're not a human in their eyes. You a slave to them. You a slave. Cause guess what? They you gonna know you gonna know just how they buy how they treat you. You gonna know exactly you gonna know exactly you gonna know exactly. Hold on, there's some people walking. Let me pause. Like I say, you gonna know exactly how they see you based off how they treat you. You gonna know exactly what you mean to them based off how they treat you. Point blank period. They treat you like shit. They treat you, they treat you like crap. They completely disregard your emotions and feelings. They completely dehumanize you as a person. Meaning in their eyes, your emotions and feelings are nothing. You are not to feel anything. You are not to think anything with these people. They're going to completely disregard that for the simple fact. Like I say, it's about control with these individuals. If you start thinking, if you start going based off your own emotion and start going based off your and going based off how you feel, this gives them up. This guess what that tells them? You can no longer be controlled because guess what? They want to shape and mold your feelings and emotions into what they want you to think and feel. They, but this is the thing: they can't do that because, like I say, you're your own individual. You are your own individual, and this is the thing: we're not robots. But this thing, narcissistic individuals look at you as a robot. I told you they look at you as a machine. You a robot? They treat you like a robot. Robots don't even have feelings, a brain, nor emotion. They're just a machine. And that's how they see you, as a robot. But this is the thing. Notice how robots have to be, notice how robots have to be artificially, artificially controlled. That's what they want to do to you. Guess what? They want to artificially control you. They want to artificial control you, meaning they want to program you so you can be their robot, so you can do whatever it is they want. Say, um, whatever they look, whatever they want, they want you to do that. Point blank, period. They're gonna this is what they this is how they think, and this is what they're trying to do. A lot of people see this thing, a lot of people gonna tell you about narcissism, system, but I'm telling you exactly, I'm letting y'all, I'm giving y'all. In, look, I'm giving y'all in depth, in deep perception on my things really get down. Point blank. I'm giving y'all the reality. This is how these people think. This is how they feel. You a robot in their eyes. So like I say, but this the thing. Like I say, we we human beings. We human beings. We're not perfect. We human beings. Let me tell y'all something. Nine times out of ten, whether y'all want to admit it or not, they pushed you. They pushed your buttons to the point to where you snapped on them and raged on them. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. 
and, and this the thing, and there's nothing wrong with that. Snap on them and raise on them, meaning you either cuss them out, you said something, look, you let them know the business. You let them know, like, hey, I'm not, you ain't finna do this to me. You ain't finna control me. Hey, if, look, if you cuss them out, it's right, look, la da 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 not, look, look, you, you ain't about to, I don't, yeah. You did. Come on, we human. Yes, you did. Point blank, because this thing, nothing is wrong with that. Let me tell y'all something. You're not doing nothing wrong by defending yourself against evil. These people are evil. Let me tell y'all something. Whether they your parents, I, let me uh, let me tell y'all how this thing, I don't care, mama, daddy, sister, brother. You not family unless I say you family. Blood makes us, um, blood is not, look, blood not thicker than water, water thicker than blood. I'm going to say that one more time. Blood not thicker than water. Water is thicker than blood. Water is way thicker than blood. That's what I'm saying. Love makes us family. Blood don't make us family. Just because family, is, let me tell y'all something. The term family is being used as, as, as a word now to manipulate and control people. Point blank period. When somebody, be, let me tell you something. The word family it's not even family anymore. When people say, hey, we're family, no, we're not family. No, you, I'm only family, family to you when it's when when it's convenient for you, when it's convenient for me to do something that you want me to do. We're not this thing, but if I don't want to do nothing that you don't want to do, I'm not your family. You're not gonna treat me like family. The only way you're gonna treat me like family is family is if I conform to your fucked up behavior. Oh, excuse my language, y'all. Hey, please forgive me. Please forgive me. It's like I do. Hey, y'all, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Ooh, please forgive me. But like I say, hey, like I say, I'm only, look, we, y'all only they family when it's, when it's convenient for them. Other than that, when they don't want you no more, they gonna, when they don't want you to be family, mo family no more, they gonna disregard you. They never cared about you. They never thought about you. They don't see you as family. No, they see you as um, a robot. They see you as somebody. They see you as a punching bag. They see you as a punching bag. These people don't love you. You know what this thing, we know what real love is. And guess what? Narcissistic abuse and um, narcissistic abuse and narcissistic people, that's not real love. That's evil. That's fake. That's fake. Wake up. And nine times out of ten, that's why you raged on them. That's why you defended them. Let me tell you something. Only empaths going to defend themselves against narcissistic individuals because guess what? An empath cannot be controlled. Period. Empaths cannot be controlled. Only an empath going to defend themselves against a narcissistic individual because guess what? Empaths got the um, tools to defeat wickedness. If people don't know. Yeah, you got to really know. You got to really know out here. But like I say, look, look, um, look. Nine times out of ten, in this thing, let me tell y'all something. It's okay, bro. Y'all, bro, if you cussed out your narc, if you cussed out your narcissistic parents, if you raised at them, and this whether this anybody, if you raised at people, if you just told people the business, if you just got out of line and just and spashed out on narcissistic individuals, you're not in the wrong. You're not in the wrong. Don't ever think you're in the wrong for defending yourself against somebody that's trying to stop you. These people want you gone. The only thing that's stopping them is murder being a crime. That's the only thing that's stopping them. Let me tell y'all something. If they can kill you, they'll kill you. Point blank period. If your parents can stop it, guess what? They don't serve you. They serve the devil. Let me say, the only thing that's stopping them is murder being a crime. Point blank period. They don't, they don't, get no, don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better wake up. That's what I'm saying. Y'all better wake up. This survival of the fittest. Y'all better wake up and stop being weak. Hmm, thinking everybody, um, uh, going, well, um, yeah, well. Ah, uh, yeah, another thing, bro, let me tell y'all something. The love bombing phase with these people, they gonna try to, ooh, it's finna rain. They gonna try to, um, love bomb you because... They gonna try to love bomb you in order to manipulate you into coming back in their life. Like if you got narcissistic parents, your narcissistic parents gonna treat you like shit. They gonna treat you like so much. They gonna treat you like shit. But the moment you realize that, the moment you, the moment that they see that you finna make an escape, guess what they gonna do? They gonna try to love bomb you. You gonna hear a bunch of, oh well, you know well. 
I'm still your uh, mama. I'm still your daddy. You know I love you. I never hurt you. I never, you know, I just want what's best for you. You know, you my only child. You know, you my firstborn. You know, this is what they realize when they know you finna stop messing with them. They, they gonna try to pull you back in. They gonna try to make you feel sorry for them. Do not feel sorry for them because guess what? Have you not forgotten that these are the people that tried to, have you not forgotten that these are the people that's lying on you, slandering your name, physically, mentally abused, mentally, emotionally neglected and abusing you? Don't let them people, um, don't, do, do not let the devil deceive you, period. Do not let Satan deceive you. That is deception. They want to control you point and destroy you they program because guess what you're under constant you was under constant attack and you still gonna be under constant attack guess what you was under constant attack throughout your childhood and you under constant attack in your adulthood they ain't gonna stop they just gonna love bomb you so that they can manipulate you back into their life don't fall for it you still they still guess what because when you fall for it they finna go attack again they coming again they coming again they coming again. Yeah, like I say, hey, look, it's either you stand for something or you don't stand for nothing. Don't let nobody play with you. I don't care if it's your mama. that They ain't your mama. They not your daddy. You have to understand something. You're not family. You're not family. We're not family. We will never be family. And this thing, I feel so good that you not my family because guess what? I know who my family is and you not my family. I know who my family is, and love is my family. God, I know who my brothers and sisters is. I know who my father is. I don't, I don't need you, because guess what? God finna go, get me up out of here. Yeah, they want. Let me tell y'all something. People want all the smoke with you, and you gonna have to give them all the smoke. Period. They want all the smoke. They so you gonna have to give them what they want. The smoke. Because guess what? We got all the smoke. See, this thing, they want all the smoke, but they don't have all the smoke. We got all the smoke. Look, we got all the smoke. We ain't, man, look, man, we got all the smoke. You know what I'm saying? Remember what I'm saying? You, you are not, look, you're not in the wrong for defending yourself against people that's trying to hurt you. These people are trying to harm you. This is what your parents trying to do. This is what your narcissistic spouse trying to do. This is what narcissistic friends trying to do. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna say narcissistic parents because these are the people that's um say they they these are the people that's so called closest to you the most. The the people that you'll end up feeling you might think you you'll end up feeling sorry if you raged on them because guess what? That's oh my god! I just cussed my mama out. I just. I cussed my daddy out. I just, I raged on them. I just, I threw something at them. I, but this the thing. What about all the times they cussed you out? What about, not only that, they didn't even, you, this the thing. You ain't even doing nothing but defending yourself against evil. But this the thing. You, you can only take so much, bro. You can only take so much. And I'm not encouraging revenge. No, do not seek revenge. I'm, don't hold no grudges. Don't be doing none of that. I'm not encouraging that. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you, at, at some point, look, at, like Michael Jackson said in the song, Leave Me Alone. There's a time, look, there's a time when you write and you know you must fight. Look, in the, in the, cho look, in the choices we make, it's the choices we take. This is the thing. They, narcissistic parents, let me tell you something about narcissistic parents. They push your buttons to the point to where you ain't going to have no choice but to spass out on them. You going to spass on them because they going to push your buttons to the point to where you going to spass on, them, spass on them. Because guess what? Their goal, is to, their goal is to provoke you and trick you out of your position to where you can end up looking stupid so that they can use that against you. They ain't gonna do nothing but gas like you. When you, look, when you spass on them, guess what they gonna do? They gonna call you, they gonna be like, oh my God, you need help, you need therapy. You don't need help, you don't need therapy. You don't need to go see a psychiatrist. No, you standing up for what's right. They're gaslighting you and they're projecting onto you what they need to do. They need help, they need to go see the psychiatrist. They crazy. They're lunatics. You not. You just defending yourself. Hey, look, and if you a woman out out there and you end up throwing hands with your narcissistic mama, I salute you. Oh, please. Oh, hey, we, hey. Hey, y'all, hey. 
Hey, if you a female watching this, I need you to come, I need you to come beat up a woman for me, like real talk. Because like I, I said, there's another video, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Y'all know the rules. Look, it's men, men for men, women for women. Look, you see how you see how equal you see um that I you, you I'm a man of equality. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'ma just go get a woman to do my bidding for you. That's how gangsta I am. Point blank period. Yeah, and you don't see this the thing. It's it, let me tell you, it feels good not caring about people no more. It's, it feels good not caring about people. People be thinking that people be thinking that they can just come up. People think that they can use their title in order to control you. People think well they can be like, well, I'm, I'm your mama, I'm your grandma, I'm your daddy. I'm not. You not a listen. You not nothing to me because guess what? If you were something to me, I'm one. Give. I'm not you. Guess what? What you about to receive from me? You wouldn't be receiving it because guess what? I would never look. I would never punish the individuals that I whom I love, and I would never treat the individuals whom I love with disrespect. Period. God don't res see this thing. God don't respect narcissistic individuals, and you shouldn't because guess what? They don't respect you. They tried to break you. They did everything in their power to violate you. Then all of a sudden, when you snap and, and start telling the truth, because this thing, when you rage, you still telling them the truth. That's all. When you go off on them, you just telling them the truth. You tired of them. This thing, you tired of people. You are tired of people playing you weak, period. You tired of people playing you weak, and your narcissistic, your narcissistic parents definitely play you weak. In your eyes, you're going to forever be a child. Look, I'm 22. Once I hit 21, I'm an adult. I'm not your child because, because guess what? You finna see how an adult get down. Let alone, you finna see how a bato get down. Yeah. Yeah, point blank period. It's not none of that up over here. Y'all not wrong for defending y'all self against people who y'all breaking free. See this thing? You break just by you spassing out. And snapping on narcissistic parents or whether or your narcissistic spouse. We, man, you know what? I'm not, I can't take it no more, man. I'm finna, man, look, man, say, man, you do something else. I'm finna, you not doing nothing wrong. Cause guess what? God, see, guess what? Go read the Bible. Go read the Bible. Cause guess what? When, guess what? Jesus Christ would defended himself. Jesus Christ won weak. He won weak. I don't know what y'all reading about Jesus Christ. He was not weak. And he also defended himself. When he got tired of people messing with him, he got them. He said something to him. That's what I'm saying. He threw rocks. I don't know what Jesus, I don't know what Bible y'all read, and I don't know what Jesus Christ y'all talking about. Go read the Bible and look when Jesus Christ defended himself against people who tried to get him. Point blank. Period. He wasn't having that. At the end of the day, Jesus Christ was in a human body, but and so that means he possesses what? Human characteristics, feelings, and emotions. Boom. No matter how bad you try to deny it, it doesn't matter. Anybody that means anybody that try to play with you, if anybody that try to play with you, if you stand for something, you gonna stand on the business. You gonna meaning you gonna call them out, you gonna tell them the truth. That one, no matter no matter what your approach is, because guess what? They playing with you. Are you just going to sit there and allow somebody? Are you going to sit there and wait to die? Because guess what? That's what they want. They want to break your spirit. And that's what I'm saying. And guess what? If your spirit is broken, you're dead. The physical body it has your physical body is still on earth. But guess what? You're spiritually dead. And when you're spiritually dead, when you're spiritually dead, you can never wake up. Your soul is gone now. Because guess what? You allowed the you allowed the enemy. You allowed you fell to the hands of the enemy by being weak. I can't stand weak people. I can't. I can't stand people who. That's what I'm saying. You're not wrong for defending yourself because guess what? God gonna give you the tools in which you need to defend yourself. God not gonna judge you if you spassed out on them. He already know it. That's what I'm saying. God's spassing out too because guess what? He's sick of them doing that. So he gonna let you do it. It's about the intentions of the heart. You. It, it's about the. Look, all sins are forgivable, but it's one sin that's not forgivable. 
And that's and that one sin is when you are an abomination to God. Narcissistic individuals are an abomination to God. They are a plague to planet Earth. They are a plague to this kingdom. They playing a look. Narcissistic parents is playing a major part in society's downfall. Because guess what? It starts at home. And guess what? Everything starts at home. I said this in another video. Before you learn about the government, you got you got to learn about who? The people that you around. You, that's what I'm saying. People are like, well, this, I'm gonna say this about the government. You don't got your you ain't got the government support, nor do you got your parents support. You ain't got who that's what I'm saying. Now, now let me ask yourself a question. Let me ask you a question. Is it them or is it them? Pick a look, pick one. Who crossed you first? Was it look who crossed you first? Was it um look who crossed you first? Was it the white man or was it your parents? And your parents is the same color as you, black. Who, who look who did it? Was it somebody at school before you look before you went to school and got bullied? Who 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 you got to go home to and get bullied to? Yep. That's that what I'm saying. We got to stop picking and choosing. Stop picking and choosing because y'all um, are too afraid to look the real enemy in the eye. The real enemy is the people that's closest to y'all, y'all family. Y'all family ain't shit, point blank, period. And they're going to do everything in their power to try to break y'all, too. And this is the thing. Your family is in on it. Everybody. Your grandma in on it. Look, your grandma in on it. And this is the thing. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something about narcissistic individuals. Don't try to explain yourself to them. And don't try to, um, uh, because guess what? It's not like they don't understand you. They don't want to understand you. They will never understand you. They don't want to understand you because they don't like you. They already put that in, they already programmed that in their mind, heart, in, in they mind. They already programmed that in their mind to not ever like you. Because guess what? You make them look bad and they cannot stand the fact that God chose you. They can't stand everything you stand. You stand for righteousness and they can't stand for that. I mean, yeah. They can't stand it. They can't stand what you stand for. Because guess what? And even if they religious, Bump religion. They, they, you ain't, they don't practice what they preach. Yeah, I'm going off on this video. I'm going off. Point blank. I'm going off. Y'all crazy if y'all think y'all, um, y'all, if y'all in the wrong for defending y'all self. What you gonna do? No what I'm saying. If you don't defend yourself, when are you gonna defend yourself? Because if you don't start defending yourself, anybody on planet Earth can play with you. Anybody can play with you now. Because you weak. Anybody can play with you now. You go to look, you go to work and people trying to play you at work. You ain't got do. You ain't I know this thing, we don't like conflict. We don't, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, sometimes you're gonna have to go there. Sometimes you're gonna have to go there. Sometimes you're gonna have to go there. What are you afraid of? You already protected. God ain't gonna let them let, let nothing happen to you. Because guess what? The enemy is already weak anyway. These people weak. They're weak. Yeah, they weak. Yeah, they weak. Narcissistic people, they ain't about nothing. They ain't about what they be talking about. They weak. They're, they're weak. These are the these people are the weakest link, but they're gonna try to play you weak. It's projection. It's raining too. It's raining too. Oh man, I feel like a shunty in this. Oh, y'all know that song by a shunty that rain on me. I mean, you know what? I'm like that because guess what? It's just water. It's just water on me. Yeah, y'all think y'all in the wrong? Y'all not in the wrong. You're not in the wrong. You're in the right because you're defending yourself. You're defending yourself. I'm gonna end this video right now. Stay blessed. Cause it's raining, it's raining, period. Stay blessed.